We are coming at you from a hotel, sitting on a hotel bed. I shouldn't be patting. Why? We're sleeping on this bed. Today. I know, but we don't have our sleeping bag out yet. Yeah. Today, we are doing hotel hacks. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ed. She's Mel. Mel. And, and we, we are Ed and Mel. Ed and Mel. And today we're coming at you from a hotel. From a hotel room. So what makes us hotel connoisseurs, Ed? Well, we've been staying in a lot of hotel rooms in the last two years. Over the past two years? I myself work in the Bay three days a week. Mel works in the Bay pretty much every week and every second week. Yep. So we're always in Commuting. a hotel room. And we want to share with you guys our hacks we've learned along the way. and. I guarantee you haven't heard them all. So no. So stay tuned and we're going to get right we're at We're going to jump right in. So you got your room service, now where do you eat it? This brings me to my tip. Grab the ironing board, set it up, whatever height you would like. Grab a fresh towel, you put it down on top of the ironing board like that, you know it's clean. Put your food on the ironing board, sit on the bed, pull up your table, grab your fork and knife, and chow down. All right, so another trick that we always do is before we leave home, we grab a little snack size Ziploc bag, throw some Clorox wipes or whatever disinfecting wipes you got at home, and bring them with you, because if you're staying a few days in a hotel, you know that remotes, phones, they're not gonna get wiped over because they're electronics. All you do is you take your Clorox wipes, give it a good wipe over, and that way you know that it's not going to be contaminated with germs because it's flu season people you can't never be too sure and that way you can wipe down the phone it doesn't hurt especially if you're going to be staying for a few days it doesn't cost much because you know you got them at home so yeah we find it really helpful it keeps us healthy and sanitary <laughs> you need a shoe polish in a pinch take some body lotion one of a hand towel and uh, come up, put a little bit of lotion on here, there we go. And right in here, you can see how dirty they are right now. Mm -hmm. All right, there you have it. Boots you can wear to a dance. Another little hack for your hotel stay. When you're staying in a hotel and you know you're gonna stay up late and you're gonna wanna sleep in, but your curtain has a big split in the middle and you can't just make it fit. Every hotel has a hanger and they always have the pant hanger. So what you wanna do is you gather both your sides and then just pinch them closed with the trusty hanger. Looks ridiculous, but it works. Trust me. If you're a frequent stayer at the hotel, join the loyalty program. They usually have a lot of perks you can get a hold of, and why not? If it's free, take advantage of it. I laid out a few things that you're able to get complimentary if you get them at home when you're traveling um, that you can get at your hotel through housekeeping or if you call down to the front desk. Easy peasy. Um, a few things that I don't have here uh, are also you can ask for deodorant, band-aids, q-tips, uh, cotton swabs. I would just say if you have forgotten it at home just give a call down to the front desk or talk to housekeeping and see if you can't get it for free. Can't hurt. All they can say is no. So shower cap has more than one use. Is you can obviously use it for yourself in the shower <laughs> or you can have leftovers. I don't have any right now, but it fits over the plate perfectly. Put it in the fridge and it's protected. Or, got some dirty shoes. You can put them in here. Just like this. Fold them together. Slap them in your bag. And it's, everything stays clean into itself. The do not disturb sign. A lot of people figure, oh, you just put it out on your door when you want to sleep in. No. We usually put this puppy out on the door as soon as we get in our hotel room. And that is 
just so no interruption. Sometimes you want to do business calls, catch a few Z's, get ready, and not be worried about someone knocking housekeeping or anything. This is, it's very valuable. Not only will you get a good night's sleep, it'll just be uninterrupted hotel bliss. Put it on your door. Another tip, you forget your laundry bag, they'll probably have one for you. Take it, it's free. You're about to check in, or you're in the middle of checking in. One thing to remember is always ask for a free upgrade. The, uh, the worst they can say is no, and the best they can say is yes, and that means a free upgrade for you. Another hack we have for you is bring your own sleeping bag, because you have no idea how gross these blankets are. I know they say they washed them. So I went out and bought a sleeping bag, pop it out, Throw it down, and voila. Mine come with two pillows, throw them on, take the rest, throw them on the floor. You got clean sheets and blankets. All right, this next hack is kind of a twofer. We are in the gym of the hotel, and not only can you work out here for free, saving you some moolah, but you can also grab a couple water bottles for when you're working out and for the go. Well, there you have it. That was our hotel tips, stays. tricks, and hotel hacks <laughs> for hotel stays. Hey, if we forgot something, we would love to hear it in the comments below. So just type it on out and we will definitely check it out. And also, hit the thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. Bye. Bye bye. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Kisses are free apparently. Oh, <laughs> good thing he's fluffy. <laughs> In the shower. <laughs> Keep fit and have fun.